this function tells us the position of a particle. So if you plug in any number for t, this function will tell you what s is, which is the location that it is on the number line, I guess, or some a coordinate line, yeah. So plug in t equals 1, it'll tell you the location. <clears throat> We're asked to find its velocity. So a velocity is the derivative of a location function. In other words, we want s prime. So to take a derivative, this is square root. That means it's a one-half power, right? Um, here, before I take the derivative, I'm just going to algebraically rewrite this. And you might think, oh, this means the chain rule, but this one actually can be simplified so you don't have to use the chain rule. Right? The square root means a one-half power. And algebraically, a power on top of a power multiplies. So an equivalent way of writing this expression is 3 t e to the 3 halves power, right? Because one-half times 3 makes 3 halves. So when I take a derivative, it's easier to look at this one rather than having to go through all that chain rule stuff. So we take a derivative, the 3 half comes down and multiplies. So 3 halves times 3, it makes uh, 9 halves. That's 3 over 1 times 3 over 2. Good. And then the power gets reduced by 1. So if you take 3 halves and you subtract that by 1, that's the same thing as 3 halves subtracted by 2 over 2, right? It makes 1 half over here. Or in other words, it's 9 halves times the square root of t. So this is our derivative of the location. In other words, this is our velocity. That tells us our particle's velocity. So to find the velocity when t equals 1, we plug in 1 in for t. And then simplify. So square root of 1 is just 1. So 9 halves times 1, that's just 9 halves. So that's the velocity. So meters per second is the velocity. 9 half.